Spokane protesters prepare to rally against police brutality. Right now, the only people who can investigate the police are the police, and we don't think that's right. And officers rally around a veteran cop facing federal charges. He keeps telling us, I've talked to him several times, tell the guys, keep doing their job, keep doing it safe, do it the way they're trained to do it. It's been a tough week for the Spokane Police Department. One of their most respected officers was indicted by a grand jury for using excessive force against Otto Zim. And tomorrow, there's a Peace and Justice Action League protest scheduled at City Hall. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live at the Public Safety Building where rank-and-file officers are reeling from these latest events. Jeff? Robin, it's like a football team that has a good offense but can't seem to win many of their games. The officers who work here have had their confidence shaken, especially now with one of their best players sitting on the sidelines. He's the poster child of policing. If you want a picture of a professional officer, it's Carl. Carl Thompson is so respected by his fellow officers that when Chief Roger Bragdon resigned, the rank and file circulated a petition asking that Thompson, a mere patrolman, be elevated to take his place. They wanted him to uh, at least put in his application as chief. He certainly had the experience and the background. Thompson, who turned 62 later this week, is a hostage negotiator, one of the officers who tries to de-escalate tense situations in the hopes of avoiding the use of force. That's one reason why police find it so ironic that Thompson is accused of unnecessarily beating and tasering Otto Zim. He has the utmost respect from everybody in the department. It doesn't matter what your rank is. He loves policing. He loves to be out there helping people. And so he does it. Chaplain Ron Alter had coffee with Thompson this morning, but instead of complaining about his indictment, Thompson was more worried about his upcoming trial, distracting other officers from their duties. He's encouraged the guys, keep doing your job the way you're trained to do it, the best way we know how, and the safest way we know how. That's his message to us. Chief Ann Kirkpatrick says she respects the grand jury's decision to have Thompson stand trial, but she does not believe that he used excessive force on Otto Zem or she would have fired him the same way that she has sacked at least a half dozen other officers since she came to Spokane. Reporting to the Public Safety Building, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Well, now there are other people here in Spokane who think police murdered Otto Zim and that the incident is a sign the department needs independent oversight. That's why tomorrow the Peace and Justice Action League is staging a rally at City Hall and demanding that the city's new ombudsman have the authority to launch his own investigations into officer misconduct. What we deserve is to know that our police officers are absolutely trustworthy and police officers deserve to know that the community trusts them. Police accountability is better for the police and it's better for the community. That Peace and Justice Action League rally called Restore Our Trust gets underway tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock at Spokane City Hall.